Good morning, ladies. How are you? Today is Thursday, so it is Relationship Day, and we are going to be chatting about feminine and masculine energies. This is going to be a lot of fun. I have had personal experience, and I mean, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. And so this balance of energies and better understanding our body is such a beautiful thing that I will share with you my experience and why better understanding these energies help me and how you might, how they might be manifesting themselves and showing up in your life right now. So I'm going to wait for a couple more eyes to get on and then I will start the training. Hello. Good morning, ladies. How are you? If you can please comment in the chat box, that would be awesome. Then I know that the chat box is working and we can have a little dialogue. This will be a lot of fun. I personally even hired a coach to help me get more in tune with my femininity. And so I'm going to tell you why and what symptoms I was experiencing that cause me to do that. And this will help you with your relationships, platonic as well as romantic. So I think you'll have a lot of fun with this conversation. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Today we are training about masculine and feminine energy. This will be a lot of fun with our relationships. I know a few ladies were really excited about it last week. So whether they're coming on live or going to check the recording. Okay, we have a bunch of people on. So I'm going to start so I'm going to start by sharing some, I'm going to call them symptoms that you might be experiencing in your life that may be a sign for you to look at the masculine feminine energies within you. Now, I'm going to start out this training by stating a couple of statements. Number one is I'm going to call it masculine feminine energy. This in, it has no indication on gender. This is like the yin and the yang, the balances. So in our culture, we call it masculine feminine energy. Um, you know, again, it does not have to do with gender in Western or Eastern culture. They call it the yin and the yang. So it's just the balance of energy within us. We all have both yin and yang, masculine, feminine. And so really understanding how you feel and what balance and equilibrium means to you in your body. And this will help you within your romantic relationships, which is why we're talking about this today. And so traditionally, I want to ask you, is within your life, are you feeling any of the following? Are you feeling a lack of connection sensually or sexually? Are you finding a lack of confidence? Are you finding a dis-ease within your body? Are you feeling really stressed and overwhelmed and anxious? Do you feel calm? Do you feel inspired? Do you feel like you're in constant go, 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 go and execution mode? Do you feel super competitive? Do you feel a little lethargic and or you know not really motivated to do anything? Do you feel really nurturing? These are all different emotions and signs and symptoms that you may want to look at the energy balance within your body. Now, I personally, I'll tell you how I started diving into this years ago, is I noticed, so naturally, I would lend myself to more of a masculine energy, actually, because I was really go, 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 really competitive, really good on execution. And for me, I wasn't balancing it in my body. And the balance showed up in exhaustion, feeling tired, not feeling my best, right? Like just in my body, as well as the men, and I'm heterosexual, but this goes for any relationship. There's always this dance of masculine and feminine within you and within your relationships. And so when I was looking at the men I was attracting, they had more feminine qualities and I prefer personally a man to have more masculine qualities. So this is also, I hope within this story, you ask yourself, you know, who am I attracting? Is that who I want to be attracting? Who am I attracted to? And what qualities am I attracted to? 
And you can dive a little bit deeper into this to ask yourself, you know, why you're attracted to that, those qualities. But again, I, none of that really matters. It's just, how do you feel? I was not feeling at my best and I wasn't feeling like the people I was attracting were a good match for me. Again, that yin and the yang. And so I knew my main goal has always been to cultivate inner peace. And within this cultivation of inner peace, I knew that I needed to get more in tune with my femininity because I wanted to be able to find that balance and that dance as well with my partner. And it doesn't mean that, you know, now I am with a partner and it doesn't mean that we don't continuously, there is always that dance. Sometimes I'm more masculine, sometimes he's more feminine and that's great, but knowing how you feel. And so I'm going to give you some tips to get in tune with your feminine, if that is something that you feel drawn to, depending on what you're seeing around you. So your first exercise is to ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? What qualities am I exhibiting on a daily basis? And what qualities do I want to be exhibiting? So if we go back to some of our earlier trainings of what does alignment feel like to you? What does alignment feel like to you? What is lighter to you? Do you want to feel peace and calm? Do you want to feel like go, go, go and really great at execution? And all of those are necessary. It doesn't, you may be, so this, everything's a spectrum on energy, right? I work with a ton of people who are really in their masculine and need to be pulled more into their feminine. And I have clients who are really in their feminine and find it really difficult to execute and find motivation and may need to be pulled back into their masculine a little bit at different times within their day. So understanding your body again is key. This has nothing to do with gender. So for me, little things that you can get in tune with your femininity. Number one is just acknowledging it. So I want you to focus today and over the next week before we get into our next relationship training to think about, just to think about it in your day. When am I in my masculine? When, when am I in my feminine? What do those feel like in my body? What does it feel like for me to be in those? When do I feel at my best? And when are both energies necessary? It's kind of fun, right? And then I want you, once you've kind of analyzed that within you, see how you can, I'm going to specifically talk about feminine, but see how you can specifically tap into that a little bit more with your clothing, makeup, hair, um, even your undergarments, the way that you talk to yourself in the morning. Hi, beautiful. You're so beautiful. See how you can add more feminine flair into your day your outward appearance as well as inward with your like nurturing nature your your patience your peace see how a really fun exercise is to see how you can integrate and share love every day traditionally women we are able to carry babies so our innate qualities are a little bit different than men. We are so nurturing and loving, but so are men. Again, this has nothing to do with gender. So I want you to tap into how can you just share love and share gratitude on a daily basis and to tap into that, to take away, if you're feeling like you kind of have an edge to you and you kind of feel like your communication is a little strong and you're feeling that edge in your body, that might be a clue to you to tap into your feminine. And so I want this to be an open discussion. I hope the comments are working because this is a lot of food for thought, a lot of being aware of what feels best within you, who you're attracting in your life and what energy you're currently living in. Because so often, especially in the corporate world and business, us women, we get really pulled into the masculine. And I'm not saying that is right or wrong, but we get really pulled into do, 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 and not necessarily tapping into the beautiful gifts that we have as women. And so much of what I have been trying to balance within myself and with my clients and in um, 
I'm actually writing a course right now, is how do you balance your self-development, your spiritual concepts, your energy, and how do you apply that into business? Because I think we're trained to put on different hats in different situations. And that's good sometimes, but also is not taking advantage of your natural skills. So how can you bring some more femininity into a situation that you are naturally coming into a little bit more masculine? And how does that feel for you? And really looking at that because at the end of the day, again, in all of my training, I always say, I want you to feel good. So if you aren't feeling good and you aren't feeling at your best, this feminine masculine thing might be something really fun to look at. So with that being said, I'm going to finish up this training today and let you know that as I started to tune into my feminine, I started to just feel more at ease. I felt more tapped into my intuition. I felt a little bit calmer. I was able to better understand and be better aware of when I was tapping into my masculine, when I was tapping into my feminine, right? And so I could just consciously be asking myself, do I want to be in my masculine right now? Do I want to be in my feminine right now? Where do I want to be sitting and what feels better for me? And I know, oh, Janet's popping in here. I'm so glad you like this topic. It's really interesting. It can be kind of controversial because I do understand why some people might even be offended of the word masculine feminine when it comes to energy. But again, I'm saying this has nothing to do with gender and we could label it yin and yang. And so within that, just better understanding your body, better understanding what feels good and honoring who you are. Like I'm going to end on a little empowering note, <laughs> but us as women, we are really remarkable. We are amazing specimens and beings. We can give birth and grow a baby within us. I know we have so many moms in this group and we don't need to be pushing away our feminine and what makes us so beautiful. So let's look at how we can better balance and better bring in our qualities into all areas of our life and not feel like you cannot be you. I want you to feel like your authentic self all the time. I want you to tap in and feel good and to pay attention to how you're feeling and also have an awareness and a sense of control around your reactions and who shows up in each moment. And yes, us as women, we can be a lot more sensitive, which can be great and also can be hard to manage sometimes. So it's just increasing our understanding and having these types of conversations so that we can know, like maybe talk to your friends about it. You know, do you feel more in your feminine? Do you feel more in your masculine? When do you feel feminine, masculine? When do you feel at your best? So if you're watching right now, even put in the comments, you know, when do you feel your best? Do you feel like you need to tap into your masculine or your feminine more? And what symptoms might you be having in your life right now that may be coming up? for you to look at and for you to maybe just shift and be more aware of the energy that you're bringing to a situation. The end of the day, life is about energy. It's not about male, female. And so just looking at what energy are you bringing to the table? Does that align with your best self? What I want you to sit for a moment, take a deep breath, and I want you to imagine some situations and events and experiences where you felt at your best. And I want you to think about what energies were present there. How did I feel? And how can I cultivate that more in my life? And I've used this example before, but the more we have these conversations, the more aware we become, it almost becomes like our emotions are a library full of books and every book is an emotion. And we get to pull and be an honor and be accountable to what emotion and feeling is showing up in that moment because you your emotions aren't running you are you observing your emotions and your energies or are you being absorbed by your emotions and your energies because you have complete power 
to take on and own whatever energy and emotion and reaction is showing up in a situation. And today we just happen to be talking about that in a masculine feminine dynamic. So I hope this has helped you. I hope you enjoy this topic. I think it's just so fun. I play around with my masculine feminine energy often. I also see and pay attention how people react to it and what other people's reactions are depending on what energy I'm in. And I pay attention to how I'm feeling at my best. And so just, I hope you take this to be more aware and to just think, huh, you know, who am I going to be today? And just actively choose that for yourself so you can feel good. Sending you so much love. You are awesome. Love you ladies. And I'm sending you lots of good energy. Have a fabulous day. I will see you tomorrow, Friday for networking day and expanding your network, your partnerships, collabs, all that jazz. Okay. I will chat with you soon. Bye for now.